A shop sells three types of sunglasses. What is the difference in price between the most expensive and least expensive sunglasses? Well, the first thing we're going to have to do here is to actually identify which pair is the most expensive, which is going to be this one here, £5.85, and which pair is the least expensive, which is going to be £2.99. So we've got £5.85 for the most expensive, and we've got £2.99 least expensive. Now to find the difference, anytime you need to find the difference between two numbers, you do a subtraction. And the easiest thing to do is do it in the column method. So it's going to be £5.85 subtract £2.99. And if we can do that accurately, we'll have our answer. So 5 take away 9, we can't do. So we borrow 1, so that becomes 7 and that becomes 15. 15 take away 9 is 6. 7 take away 9 we can't do, so we need to borrow again. So that becomes 4. And that's 7 now turns into 17. 17 take away 9 is 8. And 4 take away 2 is 2. So your final answer is £2.86. As a check, what you could do is you could... Take your 2.99 and add the £2.86 back on and see if it does give you, get you back to £5.85. 9 and 6 is 15. 9 plus that one is 10 plus 8 is 18. And 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So it does get you back to the £5.85. So the difference must be £2.86. Now let's scroll down with a different colour to see what the next part is. It says the shop also sells sun hats. So this hat is £3.29. And they're £3.29 each. So he buys the £4.69 sunglasses and the sun hat at £3.29. How much change does he get from £10? Well the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find out the total amount that he spends. So he spends £4.69 on sunglasses, and then he spends an extra £3.29 on the hat. So if we add these together, we'll find the total of his what he's spending. 9 plus 9 is 18. Put your 8 in, carry your 1. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus that 1 is 9. Nothing to carry there. 4 plus 3 is 7, and the only thing we need to put in now is the decimal point, which goes there, and the pound sign. So he's actually spending £7.98, but it does say how much change does he get from £10. So, if we can count back up from £7.98 to £10, we'll get the amount of change. So if we add on an extra 2 pence, that will get us to eight pounds and then if we add an extra two pounds that will get us to ten pounds so he's actually going to end up with two pounds and two pence change so that's the final answer two pounds and two pence all i've done there is i've counted up from seven pound 98 up to ten pounds two pence will make it up to the eight pounds and then an extra two pounds will make it up to ten pounds so two pounds two pence and that's your final answer.